What is going on? Welcome back to another video and to the latest rugby player. Fuck, I can never get it right. I can never get it right. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Oh. Rugby player receives subscriber starter. No, rugby player receives fan starter pack from a subscriber. Welcome back. Okay, guys, here we are. Raymond Knight Jr. from Houston, Texas has sent me my latest Christmas present. <laughs> Today's date is the 7th of December. As you can, might, you might be able to see it, yeah, 7th of December. So that means we've got a cool 18 days until Christmas. Now, I'm not going to get any presents, but it seems, well, it seems I, I will. Just not from family, that's all. Although I do, I, you know, I, I treat you guys as family, man, I really do. I, oh God, I've put so much effort into this YouTube channel recently. Probably for the past three years straight. For the first three years of having it, it was very, very casual, you know, uploads inconsistently. I didn't really care about it. But the last three years has been a fucking grind, man. It's been hustle. Every single day I've been thinking of, either thinking of video ideas, shooting videos, editing videos, every single day for the past three years. And here we are. I've developed that connection with, with my audience enough, I guess, for them, for, for it to warrant, you know, them wanting to send me stuff, you know. It's, it's, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride, especially this last few months. And if, if you guys have been here for it, if you're, if you're new here, Thank you if you've been here for three months, thank you if you've been here for six months, thank you. And if you've been here since day one, you know, back a few years ago, when I had fuck all subscribers, fuck all views, fuck all likes, then I want to really say thank you, okay? But regardless of that, today, today's video is dedicated to my man Raymond Knight Jr. from Houston, Texas. He's dropped a cool 35 bucks on... Uh, I'm getting this over the seas from, from the US to Australia and here to Alice Springs, which is right in the middle of Australia. And I just want to say, just for your own records, he sent this on November the 14th and I received it on the 5th of uh, December. So that's, you know, probably almost three weeks. And that's what you get when you, you live here in Alice Springs. But it's all good. It's all good. So without further ado, I am going to open this thing. Like a kid on Christmas. I never get sick of it. I never fucking will. Like some days, some days, right, I'll be honest, I'm not going to open it just yet. Some days I, I grab these, these packages, you know, there might be one or two or, or whatever, and I get home and I'm just not in the space. I'm just not in the headspace. I'm not in that right mood to open them, but also to make a video about it because for me to, to turn on the camera sit down and, and actually be engaged really engaged with you guys which I have to be 110 percent I need my brain and the things that I'm worrying about which happen all day every day I worry about shit but I need that to be put aside and if I've just got too much going on in my personal life you know too much shit to worry about too much stuff to do I can't I can't be present I can't be a hundred percent you know, with you guys, and that comes across when I make the videos, and some videos I will stop halfway through and, and think, nah, I just can't do it, and that, that opportunity for that video is gone, so when I, and I can't do that halfway through opening a package, can I, because, you know, I need it to be that genuine reaction, I need it to do it just in one take, and, I'm, and I, I want more than anything for you guys who've, who've shelled out the money, who've bought me stuff, sent it over here, I want you to feel as though I, I appreciate it. And I can say I appreciate it a hundred times over, but if I'm not there, then it doesn't, it just, it doesn't, it might come across all right, you know, I might be a good actor, but it doesn't feel right inside. So today, I'm here, we're ready to do it. All those worries I've actually written down on my whiteboard, and what I will say is that if you do have things going round in your head, man, write them down, bro. Write them down, whether they're good things, bad things, things that you need to do, things that, goals, you know, People you need to ring, emails you need to send, you know, it's it's always constantly going on in my head and I know that I'm not effective, I'm not efficient in life, I can't do nothing if I've got all that stuff in my head and not down on paper. So that's what I decide to do. I, I, I write it down, I can tick it off, especially with a whiteboard, it's fantastic, you do something, you just rub it off. <sighs> Anyways, that's enough rambling, let's get into this. I want to say once again, thank you so much. 
Christmas. It's Christmas for me, man. That's what it feels like. Let me get a key. Come on, Ray. What do you got? What do you got for me, mate? Ah, let's do this. Oh, we've got a CD. Or a DVD. That's the first one I've ever got. Wow. Look at this. Okay, we've got a letter. As always, I'm actually going to... I'm going to just fold that like that and we'll read it at the end, okay? Because I'll give you my, my genuine reaction to whatever comes up. Okay, it's all bubble wrapped. My man knows how to pack a box. Okay, now before looking at this, I believe this is a cheese head. And uh, I think the cheese head comes out at Seattle Games, is it? Or it could be Packers Games. I'm not sure, but we've got we've we've got some cheese, guys. Cheese head, yeah. Oh, it's a cozy, a cheese head cozy. Would you look at that? It must be. <laughs> Have I got a can? I think I do. Hold on a sec. Nick minute. Bear with me, guys. But uh, we had to try it out. Cheers! Ah, great! That's just funny, that's classic mate, thank you. Thanks for that. What's this? My first ever disc in one of these packages. The Ice Bowl! NFL's greatest games, 1967 NFL Championship. Green Bay Packers vs Dallas Cowboys. 73 minutes long. The Ice Bowl. Return exchange policy. In order to return this item for cash or credit, it must be unopened. If it is defective, you may only exchange it for the exact same item. So someone's bought this. They must have bought it from like NFL Films or something. And I can only return it for cash or credit if it's not opened. Well, um, we've got no worries about that because she's open. I'm assuming you might want me to do a reaction to this. And I look forward to it, mate. Green Bay Packers. I think the cheese head must be from Green Bay. Okay, so we've got one beer cozy, or Diet Coke in this case. And one Ice Bowl DVD. <laughs> what is this? What is this? It looks like a bloody Ooga Booga from... Um, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. I know, something's gonna happen guys. We've got a switch. We've got a switch, something's gonna happen. Or is it? <laughs> We've got batteries in there. We've got batteries, but I think they're flat. But it's okay. So we've got a Packers um, Firehead Football. That's what I'll call that. Okay, we've got something interesting there. I'll leave that till last. Ah, football cards. Packers Pro Shop. Did he order all of this stuff from the Packers Pro Shop and then it got sent to me from there? Did it? No. Did it? Did it come directly from the Packers Pro Shop? I don't know. No, I don't think it did because it's got a letter in there. What do we got here, man? Oh, bubble wrap. This, I'll tell you what, having these in my hands in the little plastic covers reminds me so much of my childhood because I was obsessed with trading cards. And it wasn't football, it wasn't baseball, it wasn't basketball. It was, well, it started with Pokemon, then it went to Dragon Ball Z, and then it finished with um, Yu Gi Oh! actually. Remember Yu Gi Oh! guys? Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, you know the one. Dragon Ball Z, come here. Yeah, Pokemon. I'm not gonna. I'm. Well, actually, I've got one. Balasar. <laughs> square, square. Balasar. Balasar. Yeah. No. Anyways, that's enough of that.
Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle. Bubazar. What do we got? Green Bay Packers. Legendary. Legendary football cards, guys. Let's get into it. What do we got? Reggie White. Well, we all know Reggie White. He had 198 sacks in his career. Insane. This must have been brought out in 1992. Worth keeping? Donald Driver. 2009 card. Donald Driver, the type of receiver who doesn't need much time to get warmed up once the season kicks off. Driver was in top form early in 2010. The 35-year-old accounted for the Packers' first touchdown of the new season, corralling Aaron Rodgers' six-yard scoring pass with the Eagles in week one. He's a wide receiver. James Lofton, wide receiver for the Packers. Now, this one looks old. 1983. What? 1963? Did it say 1963? No, 1983. Brett Favre. A prestige, prestige card, guys. Got the silver, silver logo up there. Quarterback. Six foot two, 220. Brett Favre. This must be his 2001 card, where he had 3,921 yards, passing yards. Aaron Rodgers. 2010. Panini Threads, it says. Fuck, he looks a bit younger. <laughs> and he had 3,922 yards this season. AJ Hawk. AJ Hawk, what do we got? Hawk has never missed a game up until 2010. Playing in all 64 contests with 62 starts. Since being drafted fifth overall out of Ohio State in 2006. He led Green Bay with 10 tackles, including a season-high three tackles for loss in a 31-3 win at Cleveland in week 7. Geordie Nelson. Big Geordie. One of, one, <laughs> one of the first white wide receivers I'd ever looked at, right? Geordie is a simple guy. He watches nothing but ESPN on TV, never goes to movies, owns an empty iPod, and drives a pickup truck. Lately, however, things have gotten more complicated thanks to his newfound no notoriety. Something that is bound to happen when a part-time player suddenly comes from nowhere to catch nine passes for 140 yards in the Super Bowl. Well, I'll be damned. Jordy Nelson. And last but not least, Greg Jennings. Greg Jennings, wide receiver for the Packers. 2010. In his first four seasons, from 06 to 09, he had 246 receptions for 3,957 yards at an average of 16.1 yards per reception. 28 touchdowns. That is not a bad career so far. I wonder what he's done since. Anyways guys, look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna put them right, right here for now. Right there. And last but not least, look at this. That is gonna look nice on my shelf, that's for sure. A full-size football with a display tee. Lambeau Field. Lambeau Field, home of the Green Bay Packers, is the longest tenured stadium in the National Football League. Built in 1957, seating capacity has expanded nine times, from 32,150 to its current 81,435. I'm going to stop doing the accent. Sorry, guys. I hope, you don't, I hope you didn't take offense to that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is going to look perfect up there. So it's, it must be a... Um, well, all of this stuff must be from the pra Packers Pro Shop. Right there. Packed with green and gold pride by your personal packer, Margie C. Thanks, Margie. Appreciate it. Really do. So I'll read the whole thing. Dedicated as City Stadium, so it was called City Stadium first on September 29th, 1957, the team renamed the facility Lambeau Field following the death of E.L. Curly Lambeau, which he, he was the, I think he was the founder of the Packers, is that right? The Packers, oh here we go, the Packers founder and first coach. Lambeau Field ranks as one of the most recognised venues in all of sports. I can't, cannot wait to get there, man. I'm going to fucking get there, definitely. The Green Bay Packers are 13 time world champions. The facade at Lambeau Field proudly recognises the 24 names of Green Bay Packers inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. 
along with six retired jersey numbers. They have 24 players in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That's insane. All right, guys. What are we going to do? Um, do you think I should have my drone up there? I'm not even sure, man. I thought it was kind of cool, but you know what? This is cooler. Fantastic, all right, man, shit. Oh, better take a drink, better take a drink, eh? Let's get into this letter. Okay, here we go. My favorite part of the day, of the video. Jacob, I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, man. I'm, I'm from Texas, but a huge Packers fan. My girlfriend loves her Texans, but also likes her Packers. So she loves Texans, but likes Packers. Okay, here are some Packers merch. We well, certainly did that. Hope you enjoy, and one day get to see my Packers play. The ornament lights up. Does it though? <laughs> Keep up the good work. The ornament lights up. When does it light up? Honestly, I think the batteries might be flat. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that one. The ornament lights up. Keep up the good work. Signed, Raymond Knight. Raymond Knight. P.S. I also have a YouTube account. Come check it out. Well, there you go. TXUSMC69. Here's your shout out, bruh. Anyone want to go check him out? Before I do, please do. But I'll tell you what, in the next video, we will be checking out Raymond Knight. And um, he, had, he, he hasn't actually said any particular reactions. But <laughs> I guess my reaction is going to be to your channel, buddy, and I can't wait. So we're going to call it there. Oh, he's giving me this DVD, isn't he? I think I might have to watch it. I will look at that. I will watch that. 73 minutes long, 1967 NFL Championship. Packers versus the Cowboys. The Ice Bowl. <laughs> if they played in ice or snow, that's, um, well, it's to be expected, but uh, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, Hit the like button. I'll see you back here shortly to react to this guy's channel, Raymond's channel, and um, also watch that ice bowl. But I'm going to have to, like I said at the start of this video, you know, you, you have to be in the right mindset. And for that to be over an hour long, uh, for me to be, you know, up and, and on and, and watching it with you guys and interacting and stuff, it's, it, it may, may require a couple of days preparation. And in which case, uh, you'll see the video when you see it. But I'm sure. It won't be too long. So anyways, guys, like I said, like the video if you like it. I've said it all. That ball looks nice up there, but I do like the drone. So hold on, just before I go, this is the Rams hat that's uh, signed by old Youngblood. So we are, we're gonna, we're gonna, hate, we're gonna, whoa, what are we gonna do? Put that there, right there, and have that there. Just like that. Perfect. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next one. Last but not least, cheers.